This is our ninth dinner, uh, and we started our foundation in 2002, and when, when we decided to address domestic violence, you know, my wife Allie is the one that you know, basically said, like, why don't we do it through education in the schools? Because if you're going to end the cycle of domestic violence, you, you, you certainly have to educate the youngsters, and, and more important than anything else, let the ones who experience uh, and witnessed uh, domestic violence know it's not their fault, they're not alone, because uh, I know growing up I never shared it with anybody. I have friends that are going to be in the room tonight that had no idea what was going on in my house until we started our family. It's, it, it's certainly uh, sad, I guess. Sad's one of them. And, and it, it, uh, the fact that this went on so long ago, and, uh, you know, it's really just seeing the light of day right now, and I think it's, uh, it's really tough to swallow. You know, and again, it's, it's sort of related to what we do in domestic violence because these are the things that are very hard to talk about. People, I don't know if they'd rather turn their back, but I, I, I'm not sure they're comfortable with how to, how to approach it. Uh, the only thing I can think of today, and of course I only know, you know, what I read and what you, you hear, and uh, the, the fact that if, maybe if that youngster was uh, recognizable and the perpetrator wasn't, it may have been a different story. You may have heard it before. It's, just, it's unfortunate because the, the, the scars that these uh, youngsters take into their adult life are, uh, are never going to be, you know, never going to go, well, you know, I can't speak for, for Coach Paterno because he obviously, you know, you know, it looked like the chain of command was sort of addressed, but, uh, you know, I'm sure he feels uh, about as bad as anybody with the fact that, you know, what happened during his watch. Uh, awareness is, is, to me, the biggest deterrent for, for any of these going on. And, uh, and, and as I say, I hurt for the kids. I hurt for the kids. And, and, you know, an ongoing situation like this, and, uh, you know, from what I read in the Times this morning, there was a, you know, I guess there was a police uh, report filed, and, and really, I guess, they, nobody asked enough questions. Sickens all of us. Um, it, it's you know certainly is abuse. Uh, you know perpetrators are very cunning uh, in getting what they want, and the only deterrent we have, or that you know that society has, is uh, awareness. And, and we need to talk about this. And I know this is a horrible thing for us to think about with what we've heard. You know what what's true and what isn't true. I can't tell you. Uh, but the fact that it involves youngsters and youngsters that are going to be scarred for, for life, uh, that, that's important to us and it should be important if you've done more. And I think, uh, you know, the fact that I, from what I read, again, I'm only going on what I hear and what I read. Uh, the fact that uh, this was reported a number of years ago and it, it went away. I think uh, we have to continue to, to, to ask questions. And, because again, as long as there's, it's secretive, uh, these perpetrators are going to continue to do what they do. You know, as far as Joe, Joe's involvement, uh, you know, I'm sure the fact that it happened on his watch certainly affects him, and uh, you know, it's going to be something he's never. Gonna